Are you ready to declutter your life once and for all? I know I am. I'm Tori with ToriTote.com, the place to be to create a home buyers or anyone for that matter will find irresistible. Welcome to part one of a four part video series on home organizing. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do some decluttering videos and I certainly need to redo some of my own spaces in my house. So I figured why not share my tips with you because at the end of the day, in order to get organized in your home, it all starts with you. So make sure you subscribe right here to see all the videos that are going to be coming up inside this series. So my theory is, is that we spend a ton of time creating clutter in our house. Just look at this room behind me. Now, a lot of this is holiday decor that has to go back into um, our little storage area in this room, but there's clothes, there's, you know, toiletries, there's um, accessories that need to go downstairs. There's, there's just a ton of crap in here. And if you have a room like this, a corner like this, a closet like this that is driving you nuts, well, I'm here to say we're gonna do it together and we're going to get organized because the problem is a lot of people don't have a plan in place and they don't schedule enough time in order to complete these organizing tasks and projects, right? It takes a long time to create the clutter, but we only give ourselves a short amount of time to really get organized. And we need to stop that right now because we're causing ourselves to fail automatically. So in order to declutter your home, your mind, or your life, you need to have a plan in place. So figure out what you really want and that you need in your life. Next, you're gonna determine when you need to accomplish this. And third, what potentially might you have to give up in order to complete the goal in mind? Rather than racking your brain on how to create an organizing plan, we attached one in the description box below that kind of goes over everything so you, so you know where you're headed in this journey of getting organized. Once you have a plan in place, the next step is to get started. And a lot of people ask, well, where do you actually get started in this process? And the answer is, it really doesn't matter where. Um, you can either start with the room that you spend your most time in, or you could start with um, a task or a project that is just really giving you anxiety in your home. Um, we're gonna start in our home right here because this is a cluster. Yes, I said it, sorry. The main idea here though is to just start somewhere whether it be one corner, one closet, one room, one floor, just start somewhere and this will get you going in the right direction. But Tori, when should I start decluttering? And guys, again, there is no right or wrong time here. The idea is to constantly be decluttering as you're going throughout your day. It becomes a habit rather than scheduling a ton of time or, or a whole weekend to doing this task or this project that most people don't enjoy. Why do something for a long period of time if you don't enjoy it? So kind of create a routine where you are constantly picking things up as you're going room to room in your home. This way you'll have a clean slate for longer. Whenever you can schedule decluttering time into your schedule, do so, whether it be a few minutes a day, a few hours, or you're gonna block off some time during a weekend and actually get through a chunk of the work. And the idea here is just to schedule it. You're gonna start somewhere and you're gonna schedule it, okay? And then once it's on your calendar, you're gonna feel so much better. I really think decluttering is your mind playing a trick on you. People think decluttering is so hard or time consuming or stressful. Really guys, it's just a sorting process. It's something we learned as kids, as babies to do in order to group things together and to um, learn new te techniques and skills. It's a skill that we already know. Think of it as a simple sorting process. So here's what you're going to do. You're gonna pick your problem area and then you're gonna go through every item in that problem area. So let's say this room. We are gonna go through every 
item in this room and determine if we're going to keep it, if we're going to toss it, if we're going to store it, if we're going to move it, sell it, or donate it. And we'll go over these specific piles in part two of our four part video series. So right now, all I want you to do is focus on creating a plan, go get our plan down below and start filling it out and figuring out when you're gonna start and if you're gonna schedule a couple of minutes a day, a weekend, however you're going to do it, whatever works for you, your time, your schedule. Because once again, we need this to become a habit in your life. So you're not constantly feeling like the world is closing in on you. Also, comment below and let me know what is causing clutter in your home. And don't forget, by tackling clutter, you're also creating a cleaner home. For more home staging and decorating tips, be sure to check out our website, www.toritoth.com. And don't forget to subscribe right here to our channel to see all the videos coming up in this series. Until next time, happy organizing. I gotta get to work. Ah!